Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to clone a virtual machine in the Hyper-V. Now I'm running Windows 10 Client Hyper-V on this system and as you can see in the Hyper-V Manager here I'm running a Server 2016 virtual machine. Now this is actually in running state and the machine can be in idle, shut down, turned off or it can be running to clone the drive. Now the benefits of cloning a drive especially in server environments are if you're looking to set up a cluster or if you're looking to load balance your a domain, your Active Directory network, um, or if you're trying to manage your shares better, uh, and logons and, and things like that. So let's go ahead and demonstrate what I mean by cloning a, a virtual machine. So under here you can see I'm actually running the 2016 server. It's a technical preview. You can see that I've installed all of these applications on this virtual machine and this server and you can see that they all work fine. So if we go to the BBC's website you can see that I have internet access for that. Now, I might not want to install Office again, I might not want to install all these applications again, the roles, um, the shares, etc. on another server, all over again. It's very time consuming and it's kind of, you know, you may forget something and it's just a bit kind of a pain in the ass to do. So, we're going to clone it instead. I'm going to leave this running, minimise it down, you can see the virtual machine running there. I'm going to right click on it, export. I'm going to browse to a location I wish to export to, in this case the desktop select folder it'll create a folder for you with the virtual machine in it so as you can see there it creates windows server 2016 folder now don't assume that straight away that is finished if you right click on your virtual machine here you'll see that it says cancel exporting this means it hasn't actually finished exporting the virtual disk yet it will be slightly quicker if the machine is turned off but it doesn't affect it in the long run if it's on still so as you can see on my task manager here for the local machine the host my hard drive, the SSD in this machine, is being hammered right now to export that virtual machine. You'll see it is using 100% of the disk, uh, as much as it can to read and write. And when it's done, you'll see that drop off there. And obviously when you right click on your virtual machine, it won't say cancel uploading. Okay, so just a few more seconds and we'll get there. Okay, and you can see that that has instantly dropped off from 100% down to 4% again because I'm running one server and the host operating system as well. Okay, so now we want to re-import this in, don't we? So, import virtual machine in Hyper-V Manager. Click Next. You're going to browse the folder where you've exported that image to. <coughs> that disk, sorry, too. Okay, click Next. It then lists the virtual disk that you can see that we've exported. Serve 2016. You want to click Next on that. You want to copy the virtual machine, but create a new unique ID. Okay, Next. Give it a few seconds to whir away. Okay, we can store the data in the same place because it's not a problem. Okay, where do you want to store the imported virtual disks? Okay, we could change this so it's not the same as the other machines. We could call it um, server clone. You'd want to keep this as tidy as possible, obviously. Next. There you go. Now all the settings are specified and finish. Okay, so the virtual machine is created exactly the same as the original there which is still running if you see there it is just waiting, waiting for it to copy the file over now if you look at the hard drives you look at the hard drive usage again you can see it's a hundred percent that's always funny to see on an ssd i love how they've included that in task manager it's much better okay just a little bit of a wait here for it to re-import this in Should be done at any second now. Okay, there we go. You can see the hard drive has dropped off in usage. And you can see there we have a secondary virtual machine. Now if we right click on that and go to settings and we go to the processor, we can see that it's using the same eight cores that I've specified on the original, which is running in the background just here. Okay, so we boot this machine up then and have a look at it. So double click on it. It'll start it up. Action start. Let's minimise down the, man, the manager there. Okay. And would you know it? Would you bloody well know it? There you go. Two identically cloned virtual machines. Now if I put them side by side, you can actually see they're both there. They're identical. If we go to Chrome, there it is. BBC. Exactly the same. Chrome on this one. BBC. You can see that there you go internet access as well okay so if we close those both down you can see that all of the applications are copied across as well um, if, for instance word on both machines 
as you can see, identical on both machines. The roles, the features, everything you've put on there, so everything you specified is exactly the same on both machines. So how long did that take? Roughly, what, five to ten minutes? And how long would it take to set up a, a whole server? Oh, I don't know. An hour or so, maybe? And to do the updates as well? So, there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video useful and helpful. As always, I'm Jake Billin. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye.